Di. This is Di. The kingdom of God is alive and well, and the kingdom of God is here. To recognize the fact that Jesus can bear his fruit of the spirit of joy, that in the journey of our pain and suffering, joy is so possible. Peace isn't merely the absence of conflict. Peace is the presence of Jesus. His law is love and his gospel is peace. And when we ask if you would help us stand up or our partners have gotten knocked down, I'm here to say you've done it again. This is the arrival. And together we gave... I know we're cheering for a number, but not when I watch that video, I start cheering for names. Names of people, people that I know, local partners, missionaries that have laid down their lives, pastors that have struggled to feed their families and feed their congregations during COVID. And I just say, this is going to be an amazing year. Look at the carpet. You just have to know it's there. <laughs> well, we can show you pictures. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jerry. Happy birthday to you. Try to blow it out without snow. <laughs> Second COVID birthday. <laughs> It's Monday, April 5th, and my first day unemployed in 20 years. I've had a job all that other time. So what did I do on my first day? Didn't sleep in. I did not. I woke up 10 minutes after my normal alarm time, 6.25 a.m. But what did I do? Nothing. What do we gotta do? I'm gonna get my B12 shot, and we gotta do an errand at the bank, and then I've got to turn in my computer charger because apparently I stole my work one. Not intentionally, I just, I thought I'd brought everything back and I forgot that. It was still sitting in my home office. Yesterday was Easter Sunday, April 4th. It feels weird. It feels like a Saturday. I'm going to think it's Saturday all day or like it's a holiday Monday. For months. When do you get used to it? I don't know. You haven't got used to it yet? No. Still feel like I have to go to work tomorrow. Can't wait. Yeah. Big trip in May. My NH trip. I just checked with them and Jerry can't really come. I mean, he can come on the trip, but he can't go into the clinical center, so he won't be with me at any of my appointments. I have to go by myself, which is awesome when you don't feel good. But if I, I don't need a companion, like he has to get me in and out of my wheelchair, so they won't let him in. It's just that I can't work an eight hour shift anymore. I can still do, you know, a 20 minute gig or something, but I'm no good for eight hours. I'm vaccinated. My daughter Gloria is vaccinated. My son Caleb gets vaccinated his first dose on Saturday. And then on April 15th, it opens up to everyone. Hey, look, he's everyone. How was it? I felt like it hurt less than the B12 shot. The guy that gave the shot did a great job. I barely feel the shot. Did you hear her make a joke when she was talking about your left arm or your right arm? And she goes, oh, I don't care. I'm a traveling nurse. I can go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. State of Minnesota, County of Hennepin, District Court, 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota Plaintiff, 
versus Derek Michael Chauvin, defendant. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count two, third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. Verdict count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. Juror number 55, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Everybody's been asking me how my uh, retirement's been going. Well, I told you it was to take care of medical things. It's to take care of medical things. Just got my B12 shot and scheduled my next one when we get back from the NIH trip. flower. I, I don't know what, what this with the flower, but okay. Mayday or just always? Maybe always. It's kind of a long story, but they want me back in six months, but actually it was a clean bill of health. I have a lot of scar tissue and they're watching my scar tissue to see if it changes. So the agency I used to work for just finished up this new housing. This is going to house about a hundred folks who are homeless in our county and are struggling with mental health issues and drug addiction. It's gonna make a big dent in the homelessness problem. I'm pretty excited. Running out of me.